Hey guys, what up? This is the Dr. Boom Plays over here, and today is an amazing tutorial. So, today in this tutorial, I will show you that how you can do advanced animation of Minecraft in Cinema 4D. So, this is an amazing tutorial, and uh, yeah, so uh, in this tutorial, I will show you the basics of keyframing. I will show you that how you can make your character walk and run. I will also show you that how you can make it jump. And I'll also show you that how you can make it throw weapons, like any weapon you want. And in the last, I'll also show you that how you can render it out in different formats so that you can uh, use it in different stuff, in different projects, like in intros and Minecraft animations or anything like that. So yeah, I can say that I'm, only the, I'm the only YouTuber that is really showing you all these stuff in a single video because I have seen other YouTubers video and they haven't showed you all these animations in just a single video but they have made uh, separate tutorials and yeah so I'm not criticizing anyone but I'm actually uh, I actually want you to realize the importance of this tutorial so yeah do watch this tutorial so yeah before starting yeah no hurries so um, yeah so I just want to say uh, before starting up, uh, I pretty recommend you to watch my previous tutorial on how you can do basic animations, uh, Minecraft animations in Cinema 4D, uh, because in that tutorial I, sh I have showed you already that how you can get your skin, how to change your skin, uh, which one is the best rig, and how you can simply animate and render it out. So if you don't know all that stuff, like the basic setup of animation, so please watch my previous tutorial because you're gonna face uh, a bit problem because it's just a semi beginner type of tutorial so I'm not gonna repeat all the steps and yeah so let's get started so I have Cinema 4D opened and I've done all the basic setup let me show you that I have the lights put on it and I have changed the facial expression and I've imported uh, my rig which is the weed line rig and I'm using Cinema 4D R14 and uh, in my description I have provided a link to a video showing you that how you can get uh, Cinema 4D for free it's not my video but uh, I don't know if it's gonna work but you can give it a try for those people who cannot afford Cinema 4D so yeah let's get started so first of all I want to introduce you to basic keyframing in Cinema 4D if you haven't already uh, familiar with it. So this is a timeline like any other editor software if you've used it before and actually the timeline is short in frames instead of seconds. You just get, go to your render setting and uh, let's take a quick look at that. Uh, change will be to 1280 by 720 if you're a 720p maker but if you are a 1080p maker so make your 1080p by 1920 by 1080 if you are uh, I don't know if you're a 1080p maker so leave it as it is uh, and uh, yeah frame rate which is pretty important uh, so it, it means that uh, frame rate is set to 30, which means that it's going to be 30 frames per second. Uh, you can set more like 60 frames per second, so it means that uh, when you're on your timeline, uh, when you're at 30 frames, it means that your time is currently 1 second. So uh, you can set this to 60, 40, whatever you want, but I'll set that to 30 because uh, YouTube doesn't really allow you to upload more than that and leave the rest uh, for the time being because we're gonna uh, look at them later so yeah 30 frames per second so in order to make my video uh, 10 seconds long I will simply multiply 30 which is the number of my frames to 10 which is the number of seconds that I want and it comes up to be 300 frames so I'm just gonna type in 300 in order to make my timeline 10 seconds long so as you can see by dragging it like that actually it it actually has three 300 frames so um, yeah this is a basic timeline and let me show you the keyframe and stuff um, so actually it has two buttons uh, the manual keyframing and the auto keyframing 
So in manual keyframing, you have to do all the stuff manually, but in auto keyframing, whenever you move any of your joint or any of your individual body part, it's gonna auto keyframe it for you. So yeah, I think it's pretty handy in advanced animation. So we'll be using auto key, not uh, manual key. So let me show you what basically keyframing is. I press this one, you see the red border screen. I'll open up my visual selector, an important feature or lead line rig, drag it out, something like that. So now let's let's just uh, drag our leg make position. So I add 10 frames in the timeline, I'll make it something like that. So now if I drag it this behind you'll see it moves, it moved, it leg and this is how you keyframe and as you can see I haven't done anything I've just changed uh, the body parts position and it has auto keyframe everything so that is how you auto keyframe and many keyframing is good but uh, it's, it's just difficult so I'm just gonna undo that by pressing ctrl Z so now yeah let's get started so yeah first of all I'll show you how I can make it walk which is I guess pretty easy to do uh, let me set up my mic sorry for that uh, yeah so if you don't know how to navigate around you can use these arrows and in my previous tutorial I have already showed you so I'm not gonna repeat that watch that tutorial and you'll get everything you'll get to know how you can do the basic setup so watch that previous tutorial I'll provide the link uh, to that tutorial in the description or you can click the annotation correctly shown uh, at the top of this video undo that so uh, let me just can do that as well so yeah as you can see nothing is happening because we have just uh, undone all the steps and now we're gonna redo them again so just press this make sure you have pressed your auto keyframing and make sure that there is red border around so now let's open up our visual selector and first of all select the right foot make it front something like that like it's stepping forward make sure it's on the ground it's like touching the ground by the way you can do that by adding plane below but I love to walk in the space because it's cool and make your left foot be behind your right foot like you normally do uh, when you walk you have one foot uh, forward and one foot backward and your for your right hand as your right leg is uh, in the is in the forward position as you can see from here so you're gonna make your right uh, right hand backward like uh, antagonism type of stuff you have to make it uh, move like antagonistly I don't know what you, how you pronounce it but like the opposite way like if your right foot is in the forward position that you have to make your left right hand in the backward position and the same for left side so as you can see my left foot is at uh, backward position I'm gonna make my left hand at forward position so it's gonna be something like that so it's our initial position and by the way you're gonna uh, spend more time on it because you know I have to explain it so yeah spend more time on it uh, than, than, than what I'm doing right now so yeah so we're basically framing for the initial uh, position is done so now go 20 frames ahead select this body icon right here you're gonna get these three arrows drag the blue arrow forward to something like that and now select your right foot which was in forward position and by the way if you can see that uh, if I try to make it bend you can see it's bend in forward position because of some quality in the pole so you're gonna select the respective pole and you're gonna drag it forward by selecting this pole from here again okay, select the right foot and make it backward because initially it was in forward position uh, I don't know why it's this stuff something like that and your left foot in the forward position again fix the pole by dragging forward left foot in the forward position because initially it was in backward position so 
and you're gonna do the same with your hands make your uh, right hand go forward because it was in backward position and make your left hand go backward because it was in forward position initially and now uh, if you'll see we have created a step and we're gonna make it much better later but let's first of all create the steps and then we're gonna make it natural so now again select your foot because I'm already oh no 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 don't select your foot but select this body and drag it forward and now select your foot make your right foot go forward because it was backward and fix the pole and make your left foot go backward because it was forward before and yeah it's gonna be a bit uh, puzzling for you but keep on practicing I was very bad uh, when I started animating Minecraft but then I got better with time because of my practice and stuff so yeah something like that by the way it's just uh, a bit random and you're gonna select your right hand make it go backward because it was forward and make it make your left hand go forward because it was backward before and again I say you spend more time on it because so you see we have created three steps now if you play it it looks a bit cartoony and it doesn't look natural at all so in order to make it natural select uh, any point in between the keyframes in between the two initial keyframes and select your the same, same body uh, icon and drag your body a bit down or what I can say bend your body a bit downwards and then do the same in between the second slab and your body a bit downward so now if you see we have a wavy kind of uh, pathway so if you play this it looks more natural and something like that you can also animate its head let me do that real quick it's pretty easy as you can see I have uh, I have auto keyframing on so it's just keyframing everything uh, automatically not manually which is I guess amazing so you can see it looks more natural and random by the way pretty freaky oh okay so now we're done with our walking so now it comes to how you can make it uh, run so in order to make it one, as you as you already know that I've keyframed my that I made uh, the slabs uh, with a difference of 20 frames. So, in, so it's a bit slow, as you can see, it's a bit slow. Uh, so in order to make it run, all you have to do is just uh, shorten the time period of uh, the keyframes. Like if you have keyframed your first step at 20 frames, then drag it to 10 frames and of course you get you have to do redo that because uh, it's going to be all render by the way I want to tell you something else uh, for for joints uh, there are individual keyframes and as you can see if I press this one there is no keyframe in the timeline but the fact is that it's still moving so each and every single joint has its own keyframes uh, shown in this timeline so if I select the right foot you can see the keyframes of right foot head you can see the keyframes of head so in order to make your character run simply all you have to do is just uh, keyframe your uh, steps a bit earlier than uh, you do in walking and it's gonna look like it's running and you can in running you can also just uh, pan down a body a bit uh, like uh, rotate the body a bit so it's gonna look like it's running something like that so yeah so that is how you make your character run uh, I think I should have take a break before I tell you that how you can make your character jump and uh, to make it through a weapons and render it up so I'll come back 